What is a smart contract? From cryptocurrency to NFTs, from Bitcoin to Ethereum, the world of decentralized currency and finance is evolving before our very eyes. Today, we're talking about smart contracts. What are they? Should you sign one? How do they benefit you? How might they hurt you? Don't worry, I've got the answers to all those questions and more right here. But before we get into all that, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on all notifications so you never miss an update or a show. Now let's get to it. Smart contracts. To put it simply, a smart contract is a self-executing contract with the terms of agreement between buyer and seller being directly written into lines of code. So what does all that mean? Smart contracts originated on Ethereum, the top competitor to Bitcoin and in many ways outperforming its older and more valuable counterpart. Since the inception of Ethereum in 2015, smart contracts have been used to establish digital agreements between two parties. Here's how it works. One person wants to invest their cryptocurrency and earn interest. Another person wants to borrow cryptocurrency to try to leverage it and make more crypto. The two parties meet on a decentralized platform and come to an agreement. One will lend, the other will borrow and the terms of the agreement will be laid out clearly according to interest rates, payment dates, etc. Every single inch of that agreement is then written into blockchain code, which is irreversible and unhackable. While there's no legal statute that supports smart contracts as the entire system is decentralized and therefore outside of the law in most cases, the mechanisms put into place in the blockchain technology make the contract binding in and of itself. Why? Because the blockchain code controls the execution the history of smart contracts. Smart contracts were first conceived of by an American computer scientist and cryptographer named Nick Sabo in the early 1990s. He coined the term, using it to refer to a set of promises specified in digital form, including protocols within which the parties perform on these promises. Sabo invented a virtual currency called Bitgold in 1998, 10 years before the invention of Bitcoin and he wanted to see the execution of a contract for synthetic assets, such as derivatives and bonds. When Ethereum was launched as so much more than a mere cryptocurrency platform, including opportunities to create, sell, buy, and trade digital art or NFTs, and to engage in decentralized finance and even play video games, suddenly smart contracts became an essential. Any agreement you make on a decentralized platform should now involve a smart contract as it's virtually the only way to ensure some semblance of security and very good security at that in the anonymous world of decentralization. Smart contracts today. Today, smart contracts are often thought to be the wave of the future, easily prepped to replace all legal contracts as they are even more easily enforced than a paper and pen signed legal contract. How? The terms and the execution are laid out, scheduled, and unstoppable. Whereas with a physical legal document, one of the parties would always back out of the agreement and refuse to pay. With smart contracts, the terms of agreement are irreversible. For example, when you make an agreement with a piece of paper, even with lawyers present, even with a notary public present to validate all signatures, you can always refuse to pay what is due and run away. With the smart contract, on the contrary, you would have already authorized withdrawals from your account to pay whatever you agreed on with backup measures to boot. You cannot hide from a smart contract. It's like a ticking time bomb. The downside? The downside to a smart contract, as with anything you do on a decentralized platform with blockchain technology, is that you will have to understand every inch of that smart contract before you sign it. Unlike with a legal agreement, where you can have a lawyer read through your contract and find any hidden elements snuck in by the other party, or have a lawyer find you loopholes, you will have to figure out all the language in code of your smart contract on your own. Unless, of course, you happen to have a professional coder who can negotiate and read your smart contracts for you, in which case you better trust that person implicitly. In a system meant to be trustless, meaning you don't have to trust anyone because blockchain technology always has your back, you will actually have to trust the developers and the community when it comes to smart contracts. And again, in the world of decentralization, that trust is still very tricky to navigate. Hackers? The little loopholes and missing pieces are where hackers can come in and exploit weaknesses. So while blockchain cannot be updated or reversed by hackers, those coding and programming experts can come in and find ways to make you vulnerable to your smart contract. 
In the end, smart contracts, along with all other issues in the decentralized world, are still a bit of wild, wild web that each person has to learn to navigate. In the long run, experts say we will all end up turning to decentralization as a form of pure democracy without the corruption of greedy overseers. But we're not quite there yet. As they say in Vegas, never bet more than you can afford to lose. To sum up, smart contracts are digital contracts written into blockchain code between two parties that cannot be reversed or updated. They have some downsides, but if you are wading in conservatively, they are useful for anonymous agreements on decentralized platforms. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on all notifications to show your support.